Here's a great book called Angus on the Docks by Marjorie Flack. That's Angus. There are the ducks. Once there was a very young little dog whose name was Angus because his mother and father came from Scotland. Although the rest of Angus was quite small, his head was very large and so were his feet. Angus was curious about many places and many things. He was curious about what lived under the sofa and in dark corners. And who was the little dog in the mirror? Hmm. He was curious about things which come apart and those things which don't come apart, such as slippers and gentlemen's suspenders and things like that. Oh. Looks like sometimes Angus gets into trouble chewing things. Huh? Angus was also curious about things outdoors, but he could not find out much about them because of a leash. The leash was fastened at one end to the collar around his neck and at the other end to somebody else. Huh, that somebody else controls him, huh? But Angus was most curious of all about a noise which came from the other side of the large green hedge at the end of the garden. The noise usually sounded like this, quack, quack, quackity quack. But sometimes it sounded like quackity 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 quack. One day, the door between outdoors and indoors was left open by mistake. And out went Angus without the leash or somebody else. Down the little path he ran until he came to the large green hedge of the garden. And he tried to go around it, but it was much too long. He tried to go over it, but it was much too high. So Angus went under the large green hedge and came out on the other side. There, directly in front of him, were two white ducks. They were marching forward, one foot up and one foot down. Quack, quack, quackity quack. Angus said, woof, woof, woof. Away went the ducks, all of a flutter. Quackity, 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 quackity. Angus followed after. Soon the duck stopped by a stone watering trough under a mulberry tree. Angus stopped too. Each duck took, dipped a yellow bill in the cool, clear water. Angus watched. Each duck took a long drink of the cool, clear water. Still, Angus watched. Each duck took another long drink of the cool, clear water. Then Angus said, woof, 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 woof. Away the duck scuttled. Angus lapped the cool, clear water. Birds sang in the mulberry tree. The sun made patterns through the leaves on the grass. The ducks talked together. Quack, quack, quack. Then, ducks could make such a scary sound. Oh my goodness, they're coming after him. The first duck nipped Angus's tail. Eep. The second duck flapped his wings. Oh my goodness, does Angus look scared? Angus scrambled under the very large green hedge, scurried up the little path scampered into the house and crawled under the sofa. And for exactly three minutes, look at his little face, by the clock, Angus was not curious 
about anything at all. Hmm, I think he learned a lesson, didn't he? Angus and the ducks.